Hi everybody, today is the poster 590, we are the August 12th and uh, I already started the process and because I forgot to I forgot to register my voice but to push the right button to to record my voice I uh, I already started to design the poster but uh, as you see is the I use the same process than yesterday's poster to customize the brain so if you want to know how I did with the brain you can watch yesterday's poster and uh, you will be able to do exact same. So let's start by hit the keyboard M. Select that area of the brain. Command C, Command V, Command T. Uh, you maintain a shift while uh, you drag and drop uh, the anchor point uh, to the left, uh, the right of the canvas. And you have that shape up here. So let's continue. Command C, oh, go on the right layer, Command C, Command V, Command T, and you continue in that way until you are happy with the, with the style. Select the right layer again. Yeah, do it several times. Make the poster interesting. Select uh, the, the area who looks good to you. Oh. One more time. Command C, Command V, Command T. And drag and drop that shape all along. You can do that as much as you want, eh, for sure. It really depends uh, where you want to go and uh, what uh, your image look like and what uh, other elements you have to add. So maybe one or two, or at least one ear. I will do that every time. Yeah, the color are pretty, pretty nice. I like them. Let's use a little bit bigger shape there. Ah. Extend it. Here. So now, let's use uh, that process, but on the bottom of the brain to create a little dimension on the poster. Ah, they are 
they are destructing the street near my home that really make noise i hope you won't hear that on the video because it's really really boring and that make a lot of noise This little area of blue there looks uh, interesting. No. Come and see, come and V there. Put the, sh the layer behind the brain. And I extend here. Yeah, not that bad. Maybe, maybe I was wrong to use a black background, so let's reverse it by creating a, a white background. How does it look like? Uh, better on a black background, I think. Let's try a dark gray background. Uh, darker. Ah, uh, yeah, not bad. Let's duplicate this shape there. Not dissolving there, not dissolve blend mode. Um, blur, Gaussian blur. Uh, maybe the value is too high. Let's try a bit less, maybe 120 is enough. Filter Gaussian Blur Progress. Uh, progress fast, please. Uh, long time waiting for nothing. Here, put it on the top. Up at the layer mask layer there. Select uh, G on the keyboard and uh, the that's the gradient. Let's select a white color. Okay. 100% that's for uh, hide the um, one part of the the layer there you will see what i mean in one second here i hide i hide this part and let appear that part so let's repeat the process for that one Gaussian blur
wait again Hmm, very funny. Um. Linear dodge add. Yeah, the blend modes react uh, differently, uh, depend on the color you are using. And repeat this process for another port, <coughs> Gaussian blur. Here we are. That's the waiting effect. <clears throat> linear dodge add mask layer, layer mask G on the keyboard. Yeah, make the effect on that one. Yeah, I won't do it on every one of them because it will look too shiny. It won't look good. Blur, Gaussian blur there. Uh, let's wait a couple of seconds to allow Photoshop to apply this Gaussian blur effect. Come on. Yeah, yeah, it's really a huge size uh, of poster. Maybe that's the, uh, for sure, that's the reason why uh, it takes a lot of time. No, that overlay linear dodge add layer mask g and you come on there no here Let's go a little bit crazy there, copy this. Let's add the pixel, pixelate filter, mosaic. Yeah, I pretty like the pixel effect. Don't know what I have with that, but I, uh, I really enjoy. It remembers me my uh, old days playing uh, video games let's drag uh, the cell size smaller yeah like that it's fine I hit ok Mm. 
mid street, another shape there. So after a little interruption, because the baby crying, I'm there. So I copy and paste this part of the brain. Uh, I use the filter mosaic one more time. Like that, let's uh, grow it a little bit bigger. Put it uh, behind the brain like this. See what happens. It's good. Repeat it there. Copy, paste, filter, oops, filter, mosaic. Here we are. Let it, let's make it a little bit bigger. Like that, there is a difference between the two other pixelate effect. And let's take a nice part. Okay, maybe not that nice. To green. Up, uh, command C, command V to duplicate. Oh, you didn't duplicate the right part there. Select the brain. And one more time. Mozaic. Here, little details. So we can clearly see something is uh, missing. Common C, common V there. Uh, let's take the shadows part, the highlight part. Oh. Mm -hmm. Let's grow it until 120 because uh, if you do that more, uh, you will see ugly pixels. And that's not what we want, of course. I duplicate the layer, I go to filter, Gaussian blur again. Yeah, Gaussian blur is really a go-to uh, filter to use when you want to create shadows and uh, stuff like that. 120 is just fine. Let's use it. Oh, let's apply it. Yeah. I want to darken it or not. Highlight it? No. Multiply. Let's duplicate it, merge, multiply, here, select the brain one more time, maybe I want a circular shape, see what I can do. Up, 
Command C, Command V. Ah, it doesn't look bad. Let's repeat the process for create a little shadow. Gaussian blur. Yeah, overlay, no, multiply, yeah, duplicate it, yes, done. Um, uh, let's add some white stuff, like uh, little rectangles, small rectangles. here let's duplicate it here 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 this one should go behind the part of brain there so you go behind Seeker there. Let's select this one. Add it there. And one or two more. Done. Mm. Let's get it by half and use. Uh, no, 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 that's too, it's too bright. Go on the background, yeah. Yeah, you too bright. Uh, oh, yeah, something like that would look cool. Gray. Yeah, yeah. Fine. Uh, let's add the sh circular shape with this uh, with this gradient. Maybe a huge one there. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Let's duplicate it. And 
and uh, send it to the front of the brain yeah yeah on the top layer too big make it a bit smaller like this repeat uh, it uh, sometimes to see what happens but make it smaller oi 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 Let's go crazy and uh, make a huge uh, rectangle somewhere near here. Okay, maybe not that huge, but uh, relatively big. And break the horizontality of the other shape. Let's see what happens. Okay, maybe it should go behind the shape front of the brain. It's too far. Yeah, I like that. No. Doesn't work. Here maybe. Yeah. Why not? Let's add it there behind the brain where he is. Where is he? He's there. Behind the brain, how do you look like? And you look so fine and nice there. I like it, the duplication there. So let's do it. One or two times. Ah, not bad, not bad. Oh. What happens if I do it with the brain? This part of the brain there. And I put it behind layers there. Oh, it looks crazy. looks too crazy that's not it won't work so well i 
or it's not working at all. Let's add uh, some, I uh, know, this circular shape. Uh, rectangle tool, please. Add one there. To break the horizontal uh, of the others. The horizontality. And let's put it behind the uh, part of the brain down. Ah, yeah, looks fine. Looks good there. Should duplicate it here. And here, but this one will go on the top of it. Here, let's turn it. Okay, put the layer down. Here it looks fine. Yeah. Select the brand. Oh no. Hey, square there, yeah, why not? Some little squares, white squares. This should go up. Yeah, I really should uh, create a folder for my uh, layer. But, uh, it will be easier to navigate in between them. But will I do that? Duplicate, please. No, they are not okay there. They will feel better in a vertical way. Maybe here. Yeah, looks good. So it's everything for today.
Um, thank you to follow along this poster tutorial. I really hope you enjoy, enjoy to hear me while I'm creating them. It's really, really appreciated uh, about uh, resave comment, suggestion, and uh, everything, uh, everything uh, you can think about, uh, about my work uh, and uh, what I'm doing. So I really appreciate that. Don't uh, hesitate to send me a message. And, um, and see you tomorrow for the poster 591. And uh, I am also very excited because uh, it will be the I will celebrate the poster 600 and uh, that's a really huge number. I'm really uh, happy that I continue the poster mini series until this uh, this number. Oh, tired. And uh, yeah, thank you. Take good care of yourself. Continue to be creative. If uh, you get inspired by one of my work and uh, you do something uh, in this way, uh, let me know. If you draw uh, one of my work, uh, let me draw too. I'm pretty interesting about uh, what uh, people do. And uh, yeah, that's pretty exciting for me to know that. So. Have a nice day and uh, see you tomorrow.